Okay, what I'd like to talk to you about today is removing the logon screen to Windows XP. Now this user has a username and no password, but it still asks me for a logon screen. When I press enter, of course there's no password, this user will just log on. If I want to remove the logon screen, I can simply simply just go to the start menu, open the start menu up, select run, click on it, and what I want to type in here What I want to type in here is control user password 2 and then click OK. There we go. A dialog box will open up here. It'll give me several choices. This is dialog box is called user accounts. And in the user accounts, it'll have on the top here, it'll have the user accounts and a small checkbox that says users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Underneath, I have another dialog box that says username. In this case, I have administrator ASP.NET Gen. If you have multiple users, in order to select the user that is going to log in, you would click on this to highlight the user that you want to automatically log in and then go to the checkbox and remove the check. Users must enter a password. Press OK. It'll ask you for this user's password. Okay. If you had uh, a password already in here, make sure you put it in. Make sure you confirm it. In this case, the password has already been removed. So all I have to do is press Enter. And then if I restart the system, should automatically just log in on this user's account. Now, how can I tell which account I'm logging in on? On the very top of your start menu is a user's account on the very far left-hand side. All right, so let's try this. All right, here we are logging on to Windows, and it should start automatically just as it has. It should, at this point, log Gen on, because that's the user account that we've selected. If you'd select another account, the name would appear on that left hand side again. Right? There. And indeed, it is Jim. So when this computer is turned on, you no longer have a login, it will automatically log in to the user Jim.